We're sad we have to make this announcement, but there is a RV manufacturer that just filed bankruptcy. We have that news and some other news we want to bring to you before that. So let's get right into it. This is coming from RVBusiness.com, dated October 10th of 2023. And it's titled, RV retail sales continue to outpace wholesale in August. There were 35,275 retail registrations recorded in August, 2023. This is 16% less than the 42,106 units that were recorded in the same month one year ago. This is according to Statistical Surveys Incorporated, which is a Grand Rapids, Michigan-based company, and they track retail and customer data for the RV, marine, and other industries. Now, when we talk about retail registrations, that's sales. So mm -hmm. we, we do these every month. We do RVIA shipments, and then we do the Statistical Surveys retail registrations, which is really the more important part, which is the sales. There have been 288,487 retail registrations. That's through August which is 56,385 units less or 16% less than through the first eight months of last year. Now, as we stated a little bit earlier, the wholesale shipments are not keeping pace with the sales. And this is not done by accident. What dealerships are doing, they, they're still unloading old inventory. Yeah, old Traditionally, by this time, a lot of new shipments are coming in. So this is hurting manufacturers and nobody really knows if this is bottomed out or one's going to kind of equalize. So let's give you some more numbers. In August, the 35,275 retail registrations is 25.6% more than the 28,071 wholesale shipments reported by the RVIA. And year to date, the 288,487 retail sales figure is running 35% more than the 213,421 total for wholesale shipments. So let's give you some specific numbers. So we're gonna start with travel trailers and towables are the largest portion of RV shipment. 21,016 retail registrations, August of 2023. That is down 18.9% versus 22. Fifth wheels, 5,543. That's down 13.2% from 2022. Then we have camping trailers. Again, very small, 570. And that is down 17.3% from 2022. You have park models, only 273. That's actually up 15.7% from 2022. Class A's 881, that's down 7.1% from 22. Then we move into the Class C's. You had 1,610, that is down 8.4%. And then moving into the Class B sector, 1,080, and that is down 15.6%. Now there are more numbers from Canada. We're going to link this actual article down below so you can go and read everything on there. Now let's move into the second half of the video. So this is from rvnews.com. Regency RV's parent company, Regency Conversions Incorporated, has filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection. So in the court filing, Regency Conversion said the November 2022 Mercedes-Benz recall of its Sprinter vans left Regency unable to fill orders. The revenue loss severely strained Regency's liquidity, the filing said. Now, Regency is a much smaller, they're, they're not one of these big giant yep. corporations. We actually saw these. They're we, really nice. Yeah, we were at really a, nice. an, an RV show in South Jersey about a year, yep. just about a year ago. That's the first time we saw one of these. They were beautiful. Super nice and unfortunate. You know, we, we talked about this in other videos that you might see some smaller dealerships smaller manufacturers they're the easiest to fall victim to right. these hard times yeah, because they yeah. just don't have that liquidity that some other companies have regency conversion said ongoing texas state court litigation prevented the company from completing the 16 chassis it did possess never again 16 chassis right like they, this is not a high not volume much, company yeah. regency rv president don that's that's a tough one. Ema, Ema Heiser? Yeah, is among the shareholders <laughs> who bought the company in 2020. They did not return any calls from comment, according to rvnews.com. This is sad. It's I don't sad. like ever seeing a company have to shut down. You know, we've talked about the quality of RVs out there. A lot of, unfortunately, a lot of the, the big manufacturers, you know, they have some of their... They, they just are lacking in quality. And where you see the better quality tends to be the smaller mm -hmm. family owned or, or just small companies and not big corporate companies. And 
but those are the ones that are really they're they're most open to, to situations and, and economy the way it's going right. put in the comments below guys if you've ever even heard of regency like i said we hadn't until a year ago so we yeah, were super into, impressed yeah we really liked it so it's sad sad to hear hopefully some of the other smaller ones don't follow the same path in the comments below let us know what are your current rv dealerships looking like from what we're seeing around us there's just just plenty of stock mm -hmm. there's there's yeah. still i'm still seeing i was on lazy days yesterday in elkhart on their website they had a 2022 22. integra i mean this thing they are looking to give this thing away i think it was an anthem or a spire mm. it's marked like 38 percent off and still with like send us an offer that thing is a two plus year old coach and it's still on their site as a new RV. Yeah. So that's that's, that's not the only, and that, the, the 23s, there's a lot of 23s. Right. Those are a year plus old at yeah, this point. Yeah. yeah, you might be able to get some good deals. And if you like videos like this to the left of us, we'll put our RV news playlist, we'll put our RV tours playlist, and for myself and MJ's a journey of a lifetime, and we'll see, see you on, on the road. road.